Yeah, got the Jordan Water Pad. West Side, West Side Gangster, and um, you can see here. This is you know we obviously we got fruit. This is this is more uh, dinner options here. We're going to talk about dinner options here today. And if you're looking to lose weight, I don't recommend oats. You know, no one got fat on oats, but they can delay rapid body fat transformation deficits because you do have about 10 grams of fat per 100. So this whole thing here, got 50 grams of fat, all right? And if you've got using white rice, it'll have almost zero fat. So if you're looking to lean out, I would recommend white rice versus oats. I'm already about 4% body fat, so I'm okay with oats. But if I was 50% body fat, I would go for white rice versus oats, just to speed up the process. Soups, this one's oil-free. This is one gram of fat, one gram of fat per can. These ones are on sale, a little bit fatty, so forget about those. Uh, jam, jam is zero fat. How much fat's in there? Zero, or we've got one gram, all right? So about one gram of fat per jar of jam. One gram of fat, one gram of fat, one gram of fat. Soy milk. Now, you've got different types of fat content. Let's have a look here. We we'll just, we'll just grabbed a couple off the shelf to show you the differences here. Um, so you can sort of see there the, the fat intake there. It's about 30 grams of fat per liter. All right, so where's that coming from? Coming from sort of oil, sunflower oil. So what you'd want to do is go for some soy milk or rice milk or, you know, better you can make your own, just soybeans some water, and it goes low fat as possible. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. The fat you don't eat is the fat you don't wear. Sugar. Sugar's incredible weight loss food. I mean, you need how lean I am. Sugar is how much fat's in sugar? Zero. You know what I mean? It's like not this just pure sugar. Sucrose, four calories per gram. Yeah, so sugar's unreal. Sugar makes you feel energized. You just get stuff done on sugar. It's great. You got lollies here, all right? Lollies aren't all created equal. There's some vegan ones. Fat intake. Less than a gram per hundred. All right, so pretty much zero fat. So if you're eating, you know, these things over here, let's get rid of these, fat, fatties, you know, over here, we're talking, we put some rice in there, we're talking zero fat foods almost, one gram of fat per hundred, white rice, pasta, things like that, super low fat, jam, and bread, not all breads are quite equal, this is just some white bread, it's a vegan bread here in Australia, from Coles, does have canola oil in there, all right, so it's got a little hidden nasty in there, oil, oil is fat. All right, and the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So we've got 2.5 grams of fat per 100. So we've got about 15 grams of fat in this whole loaf. Uh, it's not perfect, but again, if I was going full militant style, I wouldn't eat this. I would have white rice and pasta, all right? White rice is the best. It's the lowest fat starch yet, and corn as well. Corn's fantastic. Corn meal, corn flour. So the, the, the wheat flour is good, but the thing is, they had oil to it, you know? So the oil, the hidden oils. The hidden oils, man. If you're talking body fat, you know, that's how I stay so lean, is I keep my oil intake low, all right? So again, if I'm getting too lean, I add more oil, more fats, more avocados, more nuts and seeds. The fat you eat is the fat you wear effortlessly. So there we go. Just options of switching things out. Instead of soy milk, you can use water. You know, instead of oats, you can use white rice. Instead of bread, you can use white rice, okay? So these things, these are, this is perfect. Sugar's the most important one. Fruit as well, fruit's amazing. Adding sugar to fruit, you get so lean. So, so lean. Look yeah, at how lean I am, you know what I mean? I'm full of food and water, so not even dry, but you can sort of see definition there. So yeah, that's the proof of the pudding. I'm 43, coming up 44. As much carbs as you want. Carb the F up, all right? That's the secret. And the fatty stuff, you know, is the hidden fats in there. Gonna hold you back, all right? Gonna hold you back. Again, depends on how lean you are. For someone as lean as I am, this is okay. But if I was obese, I'd be going the rice, I'd be going the fruit, I'd be going the sugar. I'd be going the, the fat-free soups there, you know? The super low fat, the jam, the vegan gummies, you know, the, the, the fat-free stuff. The fat you eat is the fat you wear, people. People don't understand that. They're like, I'm doing your program. I'm like, you're not doing my program, man. That's not my program. That's fatty stuff. It's got oil in there. That's got oil in there. This has got oil in there. All right? Just saying. Just saying. Give me the best options out there. The best options out there. What's going on here? And also, another thing as well is this is a very powerful steroid. This is one of the first doping products I've ever used. The most powerful steroid I've ever used. Ventolin. If I use this here and there because I have 
a lot of pussy in my house, a lot of cats. And so if I find if I eat too much fat, my breathing gets really, really restrictive and I need this little, I need, I need the drugs. I need the doping products. But if I'm not eating the overt fats, then the cat fur is not as bad and I don't need this little bad boy, all right? So that's the, that's the thing there. If you have any asthma or breathing issues, try cutting out your oils and you'll find that your medication, you either don't need it or you need a lot less. There you go, just, say, just saying. Just saying, it's a huge one. I mean, fat really is the enemy. Doesn't matter where it comes from, in terms of it's gonna thicken the blood, it's gonna be stored as body fat. Organic oats, pure, purity, orthorexic food. But again, it's got the fats in there, you know? The fat she eats, the fat she wear. Got canola oil in there. Whether it's GMO or not, it's still stored as fat. Healthy fats though, healthy fats, still stored as fat. You know, fat stored as fat, simple as that. Sugar. Stored as muscle glycogen. Excess sugar in the body, you pee it out. You pee it out. That's why your urine can smell sweet. That's what diabetes means, sweet sugar, sweet urine. So you pee out the extra, excess sugar. But excess fat, you store it as fat. It's not even excess stored as fat. Fat isn't stored as fat as, as an excess. It's stored as fat as a default. Sugar's not stored as fat. You know? It's just peed out. Now, if someone has adaptive thermogenesis, then anything they eat, fats, proteins, Carbohydrate will largely be stored as extra fat because they're in starvation mode. But that's not the sugar's fault. That's not the protein's fault. That's the person's fault for restricting their carbohydrate to start with. And their thyroid stimulating hormone is going up. Adaptive thermogenesis is kicking in. And there's going to be weight gaining. They're going to be marshmallow man or woman for a while. And that's fine. You've got to heal it. You've got to heal to get real. Just saying. Judge by results, not by theory. Uh, this is just me every day. Oh, this is at 4 p.m. I'm full of food and water, you know. <sighs> Judge by results, not by theory. All right. I've been doing the same advice for forever, man. Carb the f up, man. Carb the f up, kids. It baffles me. It baffles me, man. It's, I mean, it, it baffles me and it pains me to see people suffering. They're restricting their calories. They're going calories in, calories out. Greg Duchet, it doesn't matter. No, it's not. It's fat in, fat out. I mean, if you're trying to burn body fat. What sense does it make to eat more fat that day? You, you, and you don't want to restrict yourself. I mean, in terms of calories, you want to, you want to, you want to be full on carbohydrate. You want to be satisfied. So you've got enough serotonin and melatonin and dopamine in your body. So you feel good. Unlimited carbs every day. Every meal you need to eat is unlimited carbs. What does unlimited carbs mean? As much as your body wants. When you go to the toilet, you've got to pee unlimited. As much as your body wants to pee. You don't stop midstream and go, oh, that's enough peeing for an hour. We've got to hold it in because that's too much pee. You know, it's like, let it go. Huh? Let it go. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, oh man. It's, it's crazy, man. People are like, it's stopping midstream. Oh, I better push away. I've had enough carbs now. I just better push away because that's too much. My trainer said, your trainer's an idiot. Your trainer's a moron. They're sincere but sincerely wrong. Or they don't know the truth. Or they know the truth. They don't care. They just like tell you whatever's, what do you want to hear? I've been a trainer for 24 years. You know? If you want the results, hire me as a trainer. Go to DuranRod.com. Get me in your corner. Get me in your corner. Let's get you going there. DuranRod.com, the best coaching out there. All right, stop the starvation nation situation. Stop the deprivation nation situation. Carbs, baby, carbs. Look at my lifestyle. Look at my results. Look at all my girlfriends over the years. Sounds arrogant, but it's true, man. Nobody you know, gets better. I get Olympic athletes, world tour riders, Ballerinas, people deem me on the, on the, on the sly and the slide. Do you know what I, my coach said this, what do I do? I'm like, man, your coach wouldn't have a clue. Send me a picture of your coach. Your coach is overweight and obese. Doesn't make him a bad person. Or your coach is running on caffeine, got mad bags under their eyes, just uh, in a mood, blah, blah, up and down all the time. Do you want their results? Or do you want stable mentality? All right? We all have ups and downs, but you want to be like, you know, that, or be like, rawr, 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 rawr. not for me. Carbs, man. Going to bed early, getting that water in. Life's meant to be enjoyed, man. Life's not about deprivation. It's about hedonistic pleasures of carbohydrate basis. You know? That's what it's about. And that's, that's my choice. That's my choice. We all choose life we live. You in or you out? Thing I enjoy. Nothing I enjoy is I've had no stims today. I'm just like, <sighs> yeah. You know, I feel like I'm on a fat though. You know, I've had nothing in my system today. No stims at all. The carbohydrates in this. I went to bed last night at 8:20 p.m. All right. I got up at like 3.30 a.m. this morning, like, on point. And I was like, what, well, it's 
you know what I mean? So I went up for sat for an hour and we went to bed. Got up at like six or something. You know, it's, it's how good I feel, right? I do use sims occasionally, but not because I'm tired. Just because I'm at 100% and when I want to go to 110% or 120%. If you're at 10%, don't use stims. Get yourself to 90 to 100% and then use some stims. And then it's very small dosages, not every day. Because if you're using stims every day, your you're, you're hypothalamus, your your adrenal cortex, your parasympathetic nerve system is just getting, just getting fisted, man. All right? That's most people in society, though. They're just walking around, not really present, just like stim to stim to stim, drama to drama to drama. Because they're fearing sugar. They're fearing, cup, fearing rice, they're fearing bread and stuff like that. You're fearing carbohydrates in general, fearing fruit. Oh, sugar's, sugar's a drug. Sugar's a drug. And they're drinking coffee. No, no. Coffee's a drug. Caffeine's a neurotoxin. Look it up. Sugar is a nutrient. That's a big distinction difference there, right? And uh, it just, it pains me to see people thinking sugar, well, fruit's okay, but sugar's bad. And it's like, that's not saying caffeine is bad because it's isolated, but coffee beans are good because it's the whole bean. No, it's caffeine. It's caffeine. It's sugar in the fruit. It's sugar over here in the bag. It's the same thing. It's sucrose, right? <laughs> Caffeine's not a neurotoxin on its own. It's always a neurotoxin, whether it's in the caffeine isolate powder or it's in the coffee bean. It's caffeine, it's caffeine, it's neurotoxic. Sugar is sugar. Glucose, sucrose, fructose is all a nutrient for humans you know, and other animals. It just, it baffles me, man. People will just, you know, oh, it, it, and I see it, I see it, you know. I see, I see society just crashing from this carbohydrate, carbohydrate phobia. Every time I go to the supermarket, I see people like looking out, reading labels, looking for sugar. Oh, put it back. Too much sugar. And I talk to them. I talk to these people. Oh, it's got sugar in it. And I'm like, okay. And I have the conversation with them. I've had this conversation with thousands and thousands of people every single day, probably the last 20 years. Literally, every single day, either in person or online. Sugar is your friend. Get enough. Your body will self-limit it. It's like sleep. You can't sleep too much. You can sleep past your alarm clock, but you can't sleep too much in nature. You, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. You need the sugar, you need the sugar. That's why, it's, that's why we have sweet receptors in our tongue. All right? That's why breast milk, human breast milk tastes sweet. We need sugar. That's why you, you can restrict your fat and protein. It's easy. It's easy. But you restrict your sugar, your brain's going, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? We need sweet, 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 sweet. You need sweet. Right? And you need salt as well. But sweet's the main one. That's where your primary carbohydrate calories come from. Sweet. Just slice after slice, as much bread, as much jam as I want. Just keep going and going and going until you're done, all right? In life, don't restrict the carbohydrate. Don't restrict your sleep. Don't restrict your water, all right? Have my, I've got my water bottle here. Carbs for the win, man. Just eat as much as you want. Have a nap and then get to work and smash it out. I love it. I love the feeling of carbohydrate, unlimited energy. Sleep deep, rest good. Bang it out, man. Bang it out. Really good. I like this one. It's a Frenchie. Um, is it from France? No, it's not. It is from France. I was like, I thought, Abricot. I was like, hang on, this is, is this Australian just playing on a, uh, a Frenchie name there. But yeah, I love this stuff. It tastes really good. Um, just, what do you say? This is uh, Bonnie, my man. My man. My main man, Bonnie. This is <laughs> really, really tasty stuff. I wonder where in France this is from. But it's legit. It's legit.